Spencer, this is News.com. I'm here with uh, NASCAR Canadian Tire Series veteran Mark Dilley talking about round 11, the 11th of 11 races in the 2014 schedule coming up for, for the Uncats Tour at uh, Quartha Speedway out in Fraserville. It's September 20th, last race of the year. Mark, you had, a, you had a good run recently at Barrie. Unfortunately, the you know ball joint problems take, took you out late in the going, or around, around the midway portion, but you, you were fast. I mean, does that sort of give you a little bit of motivation heading into Kawartha, and knowing that the, the, your oval program uh, is, is strong and ready to finish out the year? Yeah, we've had a good program on the ovals right through. I pretty well every race, just can't get, uh, just having some bad luck. I mean, I like broke a ball joint at Barrie, a, a gear in Edmonton. I mean, we've been very fast, so hopefully we can get all the pieces together for Kawartha and and get it, uh, you know, get everything to fit together. Just, just everything to come together as one. You know, that's that's the biggest thing. It's not an easy game, and there's so many variables. So, you now we're excited to get there, and hopefully we can keep rolling. Now, Corth is an interesting facility. It's a, it's a short track, but it's it's not a it's not a Saint Dash. It's not a a Barry. It's it's not an Edmonton. You got, you got a little bit of room there. What what's the secret to, to running up front and and rolling off uh, rattling off a win at Corth uh, in an NCATS car? Uh, the, the biggest thing there. It's like any of them. I mean, you just got to stay consistent all day. I know we won there. I think in 08 or somewhere somewhere around there, 09 maybe, and you know we just stayed consistent all day. And basically, some some of the cars fell off. And, had had peaks and valleys, so I think just trying to keep the character consistent all day is the main thing. When you're in the middle of a season where where you've you've had strong equipment and unfortunately not the results to, to back it up, I mean, is it tough to sort of keep your head up and, and keep moving forward and, and try to keep uh, try to keep turning the season around even when you are at the, the last race of the year? Um, not really. I mean, I've been doing it so long. I mean, you've seen the ups and downs and the, you know <laughs> and everything that goes with it. You just uh, keep grinding. I mean, you know, if it was easy, there'd be a thousand race cars at a racetrack every night. And, it's not an easy game, and, and you know the strong survive kind of thing. So we'll, we'll go there and keep our heads high and, and give her all we got. I know that having an operation like this, I mean, it just doesn't happen without the without the marketing partners and the people behind you. You've been blessed to have a, a phenomenal team to surround yourself with. Thank the folks that make it happen. Well, uh, obviously Leland and Johnsonville, Dickies. There's just so many Brian Cathcart trucking for. There's so many people beyond digital that that make this happen, and you know we wouldn't be able to do it with that without them and. And the nice part is, is they're they're interactive and involved with the race team. So it's not like just here's a check and go race, and they're they're part of it, and that's uh, that's a real good thing. And then we try and strive out for that. There you go, folks. Follow them on Twitter at markdilly 9 and come out to court the Speedway September 20th, last race of the season. Uncle Mark's gonna get ready to, to put that 02 car at the front. Mark, all the best, man. Uh, thank you for the time, and, and we'll see you at Kawartha. Thanks.